Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel, What's In Yours. Um, I just wanted to do a quick review on this tail light blinker indicator that I added to my name robot RS7. Um, this light right here is a Million X5 wireless remote controlled turning laser light. So I'll kind of go over some of the highlights and then show you how it works. But basically, this thing um, has 18650 battery in it. Um, it's good to charge it over, I think, um, a thousand times. And it has a 5,000 hour uh, working uh, life on the light itself. Um, these have the 18650 um, rechargeable lithium ion batteries in it. And then it also has this remote control right here. Has the laser, uh, three different functions on the tail light, and then of course your blinkers. So basically all I did was move this stuff over, added this on. Now this is a little janky. Um, it has this like rubber band, like it's kind of like a thick rubber band that goes around the handlebars. Um, so it kind of moves around. I don't really like that, but there was no other mounting method that it came with. Now this light right here came with the typical mounting method on, on a bicycle seat or the front handlebars, you know, with the round uh, clip thing, but there's nothing back here I could do that with. So basically what I did is made this bracket out of aluminum and just kind of painted it and shaped it whatnot nothing fancy but my this my rs7 already had a foot rest and actually by default now when i put my foot up here the the part of my foot i'll kind of show you kind of rests up against that so kind of works out and then this already came there's there's this little bar here for stability or strength structural strength it already came with that so on this piece right here I just drilled a hole and used the same screw and then got this stainless steel hardware from uh, one of the box stores and with some locking nuts on the back side of it and made that hole. That way this piece doesn't move back and forth. It's locked into place. Uh, I mean, you can stand on this thing. It's super solid. And then what I did is now it came with this piece right here already on it. And this piece, what it can do, just like your normal lights and stuff you can take it off so you can recharge it the only downfall part about that i mean locks in good it's not moving anywhere but it is a little loose so i might have to do some adjustments here i already tightened up this screw in here that this screw right here so this thing can articulate back and forth so you can kind of get the angle right from the back side um so i'll have to figure out a way to maybe secure that a little bit better that way if i'm jumping off of curbs or whatnot it doesn't break loose and then for this piece right here, all I did was drill some holes through the aluminum, added these screws, added some locking nuts underneath to secure that on. So um, we're, we're getting ready to go over the different functions of this. So I'm going to set the camera down. All right, let's talk about the different functions. So basically on the handlebar, you just hold the button down for a couple seconds. Okay, so it brings the light on right there. Okay, now this it has either solid, or if you hit that button again, it has kind of like these strobe ones, and then it has a flashing. I usually keep mine kind of like that. Then it also has your blinkers, and that's why I brought this, bought this for the blinkers, because uh, I like to ride in traffic, and even at night, um, this kind of helps uh, a level of security. So that's the right blinker there. And if you can see in here, it has the red light and then it also has the yellow light there. Now I tested it out from a distance down the street, just parked the scooter down the street and turn it on. You can see it from pretty far away. So I'm pretty comfortable about visibility wise. And this is the right one. And it, the blinker, if you forget to turn it off, it automatically goes off in like 20 seconds. But you can hit that button again, and then it just goes back to the state wherever you had it with that. So that's the blinker and the tail light function. Then it also has these kind of space markers, I guess is what you call them. But 
I'll pick up the camera so you can see it. But it has these lines right here. Kind of uh, tells drivers, you know, that's, that's my distance. And not only are they solid, but if you hit the button again, they blink. So it gives you a little bit of extra added security as well. And then if you hit the button again, they turn off. So it's pretty cool, little light. Um, still testing it out. It's my first day riding with it on the scooter. So I'll keep you updated uh, of how it performs and how well I like it and how long it lasts. It's supposed to last for a pretty long time. And then uh, one thing I forgot to mention is that during the day, this uh, tail light will go off automatically because it has photo cells up under the uh, the module itself. Take a look at it. <laughs> but it has these photo cells right up under here. And if you want this light to be on all the time, you just take a little piece of tape or something. There's one on each side. You just cover up the holes. That way it'll always be on. Or if you just want to use them at night, it'll operate automatically. So that's it. Um, there's nothing more to it. I think I got this, picked it up for like 25 bucks. I forgot what website I, I got it on. But it is, again, the Million Milan X5 wireless remote. So I'll, I'll keep testing it out, give you an update after a while, and see how it goes. All right, well, that's it for now. And as always, ride safe.